sixth grade. I need help. I'm in so much trouble. You won't even believe it. Mr. McLaughlin and Miss Rommel believe that I know like ugh, an incredible amount about the seven different sea turtle species. But guess what? I don't. But don't tell them I said that. They both want me to tell them about the different sea turtle species, but I can't because I didn't know anything. But I can't tell them that, so don't tell them. This is where you come in. I need you to help me learn more about the seven different sea turtle species. I need you to inform me about them. So Miss Frommelt will read to you today about the different sea turtle species, and she'll continue reading to you on Thursday about it. But again, don't tell her I don't know anything. You will get a lot of valuable information from Miss Frommelt, but I also need you to research one, just one, of the seven species to provide me information, me more information, because again, When you are researching, remember to use your five W's. Who wrote it? What is it about? Where is it from? When was it created? And why did someone make this? This is all stuff that we talked about before this awesome break we've been having. Also, when you're researching, I've also given you sites to use because I, w I want you to be able to search if you want to use different sites, but I also want to give you resources to use if you can't find any information. Definitely use the sites I've provided, but if you want to branch out, that's totally fine. Just make sure you use your five W's. Something important to remember right here in all caps, it says, do not copy word for word or I'll get in trouble. You know Mr. McLaughlin and Ms. Frommel, they'll know. So remember, paraphrase. Put it into your own words. If you're going to copy something word for word, you need to use quotation marks and you need to cite it. So make sure you are really working on putting the information you are getting into your own words. Okay? So here is the assignment. But again, don't tell them I don't know anything. Um, using the template below, which I'll show you in just a minute, I want you to research one of the seven sea turtle species and fill in the template with the research information. Okay, then you are going to create a PowerPoint. You could create a Canva or Glogster poster, um, a Google drawing, a comic strip, a brochure, a video, a Kahoot, a Facebook page, a Twitter page, or even just write two to three paragraphs to inform me about your sea turtle. Be creative. Any one of those options is acceptable. If you come up with something else, just shoot me an email, ask me, let me know what it is so I can maybe say, yes, it'll work, no, it won't. But I'm giving you creative freedom here. But remember, don't tell them I don't know. Okay. But make sure, make sure though that you are being creative. This isn't meant to overwhelm you. It's meant to allow you to choose any medium to share your information. If you want to go simple and write a couple paragraphs about it, I'm totally fine with that. But I'm giving you creative freedom. Be creative. Show me what you got. Okay. Um, here are your assignment requirements. So you must have two to three images of your specific turtle. So part of the templates below, which I'll show you shortly, um, talk about the physical description of your turtle. So your physical description should match up with the images that you are putting on the um, whatever you decide to share. So make sure those match. Um, all template boxes must be included in whatever you decide your final, your final product is. So say for example you decide to make a Canva poster, all of the template information needs to be featured on your poster somewhere. I will just say this, if you choose to do a poster, don't put paragraphs on it. That's not what a poster's for. What, what poster have you ever read with paragraphs? Don't do it, okay? Um, your final product needs to have less than five spelling errors, capitalization, and grammar. Um, I would be willing to make that five spelling, five capitalization, five grammar, but I'm giving you creative freedom here. Take the time, if there's a red squiggly underneath it, spell check, okay? You guys can have easy access to that. You have access to it all the time, so take the time 
do it right, be creative. If you look um, in the stars, I said you will be graded on having all required elements. So at some point, I will create a checklist that checks off each of these things, and that's how you will be assessed for this assignment. Um, the due date is Wednesday, April 22nd, 2020. So if you think about that we have language arts, um, language arts and reading, day one, and let's see, so let's see, today is, tomorrow's Tuesday, that'll be day one, two, Wednesday, Thursday, day four. So we'll have language arts every, uh, I don't know. Friday would be the next day you have language arts and then we won't have language arts again until the next Wednesday Which would be the 22nd and that's when I'm expecting this due. So you have almost a week to do all of this work And really if you section it out and do it in pieces, it should not be too bad for you It's you know, you're you're getting to be creative I think the hardest part is gonna be just getting all your information down and that's gonna be easy because I'm gonna show you now so you will learn about these or you have learned about these from Ms. Frommel. She probably hasn't gotten through all of them. So those are here for you. Um, here are your online resources. We have Nat Geo for kids, um, seaturtles.org, thoughtco.com, um, Oceanside, edu. Remember we talked about those domains, edus.orgs, .coms. Pretty reliable. We want to avoid the .nets. Remember, they're not always the greatest. Um, and then .org. So we have on here, I have seven. Wait. Nope. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Seriously, kids, it's late. Ugh. And we haven't been in school for a while. Um, you have five resources here to use. You can use any one of them. You also, like I said previously, you are welcome to choose. Um, if you want to research your own sites, that's fine. These are here to help you, okay? Um, template is on the following page. So attached on Google Classroom, you will have, this is the template of information that you need to include on your, um, whatever you decide your final product is. So sea turtle name, if you pick one of these up here, any one of those, I'm just going to use the green sea turtle as an example. So sea turtle name, I would put green here. There are scientific names. So what is the scientific name for a green sea turtle? I need to look that up. What's the average height, the average weight, what color is it? What are some other physical descriptions? Think about the shell. Think about its shape. What do the arms and the legs look like on a turtle? Do they have nails? Do they have claws? What do their teeth look like? Think about all the things that you would describe on a turtle if someone didn't know what a turtle looked like. Put them there. What things could you add? Um, up here, diet. What does your turtle like to eat? Is it a carnivore? Eats meat. Herbivore? Eats um, plants. Omnivore? Eats both. Explain. How do you know? What information tells you what type of carnivore, herbivore, or omnivore it is? Um, location. Where is your turtle located? Obviously, they live in the water, but where? Are they Atlantic, Pacific, Indian Oceans? Where do they, what coast? Where do they, where do they lay their eggs? Where do they put their eggs? So think about where your turtle is located. What's the climate like? Do they like it hot? Do they like it I don't know. I don't think turtles like it cold, but what is the climate? Desert. Um, weather, same, similar to climate. What's the weather like? What kind of weather do turtles, I don't know, like, migrate? I don't know. Think about it. This is all creative. Up to you. You just have to have this information. Um, what are some other local animals? So in terms of location, if your turtle was, I don't know, let's say off the Florida coast. What other local animals are there? What is one? Like gators maybe? That could be an animal. Um, what kind of birds? Other ocean animals? So think about what other animals are in the area or even in the water with the turtles. Predator, prey, or both? Is your turtle considered a predator? or Is it prey or is it both? Explain your thinking. 
Um, if you have questions about this one, I bet money Mr. McLaughlin could help answer it, but don't, don't tell him what you're asking for, okay? <laughs> don't tell him, okay? Um, uh, what, uh, the next one, environmental threats. What in the environment negatively affects turtles? So some of you, visco, whatever that sound is, I can't even think of it right now. Is that it? Okay. That's off besides the point. But, um, they're all about saving the turtles. Why? What, what is specifically associated with them that they are doing to try to save the turtles? If you don't know, when you get a fountain pop, what do you get with it is an example. But think about what other threats are there in the environment. Think about what humans do. Think about other creatures, the weather, anything. Those are environmental. So really think about how turtles are affected or threatened by the environment, okay? Um, did you know, add three to five interesting facts about your specific, about your specific turtle species. So anything that wasn't included above, could be interesting facts. Please do not just copy and paste something from up here and put did you know on it. You guys can do better than that. I know it. And then images. So I put a box here for images so you could start picking out the images that you might want to use for whatever um, whatever uh, final product you come up with. So um, Ms. Frommel and I will be on tomorrow from 1 to 1.30 if you have any questions. I honestly don't want you to feel overwhelmed by this. You have another language arts day before this is due. Um, really just enjoy it. Like really take the time to learn more about the sea turtles and um, enjoy learning from home. Uh, you're not getting yelled at. You're not having to ask me to borrow a pencil. It's kind of depressing, but I think I'll survive, right? So, um, if you have any questions, just let me know. If you think about a different way you want to do your poster, let me know. But happy researching. I miss you guys. Take care. Talk to you later.